Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to June 2017, paper 3. Um, we're going to go through question 1. So, firstly, we've got to look at writing down the fractions, decimals and percentages here. So, first row is done for us. So, we'll start with the second row. So, 0.27. So, we've got our zero units, but we've got two tenths and seven hundredths. Now, a tenth is ten hundredths, so in total we've got twenty-seven hundredths there. So, that's our fraction, twenty-seven over a hundred. And if I want to write that as a percentage, well, as percentage means out of 100, and our fraction is already out of 100, this is nice and straightforward, it's just 27%. The next row is a little bit more complicated. Uh, we need to think about some equivalent fractions. So 4 fifths, well, that's equivalent to 8 tenths. Okay, so our, we'll do our decimal first. So... We have our units column, and then our decimal point, and then the next column is the tenths column. And we've got 8 tenths, so it is 0 units, point 8. And then the percentage, well, percentages are out of 100, so 1 tenth is 10%, because that's 1 tenth of 100, so 8 tenths will be 80%. And the final row, uh, 3%, so again, percentage is out of 100, so we'll do the fraction first. So it is as simple as just saying 3 out of 100, 3 one hundredths, and then our decimal, we've got 0 units, and then we've got Keppel here, because there's no tenths, so we need 0 in the tenths column, and then 3 hundredths, so 0 0.03. Question B, so 45% is a fraction, so going back to the idea that percentages are out of 100, so 45% is just 45 over 100, but we need to then put that in its simplest form. So we look for a number that divides into both the numerator and denominator. In this case, that will be 5. So 45 divided by 5 is 9. So our new numerator will be 9. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. So our new denominator becomes 20. So it's 9 twentieths. Part C, they share the money in the ratio 1 to 4. So that means Alan's getting one part, Brian's getting four parts. So there's five parts altogether. So it's going to be out of five. Alan's getting one part, so he gets one out of five, so one-fifth. 